Okay, hey YouTube, here we are in El Capitan, the latest OS X operating system, and you might be getting a warning that's saying your startup disk is almost full. You need to make more space available on your startup disk by deleting files, and then you click OK, and then you don't know what to do from there, so I'll help you. In the top left, so click the desktop to make sure your, your desktop is uh, active, and then you click on, in the top left, File, New Finder Window. It pops this open. For you, mine defaults to a different folder. I've changed some, some configuration on my, uh, my computer there, but you can click either your devices, uh, just your, your name, iMac, or whatever your computer is called, or if it defaults to all my files, that's also fine. And then make sure to click this uh, series of bars here. This icon here displays everything as a list. And then to get this view that I have, which displays size, uh, you want to go to View, Show View Options, and make sure Size is selected. And then you'll see if I, if I click that and toggle it, the size appears or disappears. And that's very useful information. We're going to need that. Make sure Kind is also selected. And uh, I think everything else is, is fine. We don't need to worry about anything else there. And then we're going to type in dot .mov, enter. And that gives you a bunch of uh, search criteria. So this actually produced a bunch of uh, documentation, small sizes. But if we click the size area up here, I'm clicking on size, it'll actually sort it from the top down anything ending in .mov. So that's helpful for my .mov files, but there are some movie files that aren't always named .mov. So let's create a new uh, search criteria here by pressing the plus, and then kind is, we're going to change any to movie. And then that'll auto refresh, and it'll, it'll add in any other movies that are there. And we're going to get rid of .mov and we're just going to have a period there because every file type has a period in it. And now we've got a period to grab all my files and kind is movie. So now we've got all my movies. And you'll see now that my wedding video is in there. It's a .mp4 and it's 3 gigs. And all of these are going to add up. You've got a bunch that are just over 1 gig, a bunch that are 2 gigs. And then here we've got some 3 and 4 gig files. These are massive. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is get all of these videos off of your hard drive and onto a portable hard drive and then you delete them by dragging them into the trash can and uh, emptying the trash can. So if I right click this I can even move to trash and that'll move all of those files to the trash can and then I can go down there and empty the trash. So that will free up some hard drive space on your computer and it will uh, make your, it'll reduce that warning and, or sorry, it'll get rid of that warning altogether, warning altogether. And uh, then if you want to confirm that you've freed up your space, you can go to about this Mac in the top left by clicking the Apple icon and then about this Mac. And then you click on, I believe, storage. And it will show you that I've got several hard drives plugged in here that I bought from uh, factory direct and this one's the time machine is almost full but my portable hard drive here with 750 gigs I put a lot of my movies on there and you can see that that keeps a lot of empty space on my actual Macintosh hard drive here and from the reading that I've done you want to have it so that there's always 80 percent of your hard drive space is free so if you find that your computer is running slowly and you're up to halfway or more of your hard drive being full, go out, buy a $60 portable plug-in USB hard drive, dump all of the movies onto that extra hard drive or a lot of the music, and then delete them from your actual hard drive so that you get down to the 10 or 20% uh, storage point on your, your actual Mac hard drive, and then your computer will, will run way faster once you've given it, given it a uh, restart. So hopefully this helps you get rid of this warning of your startup disk is almost full, and if it did, please remember to like my video and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.